Welcome back here to the local vibe. You're right on time for our next live interview this morning. And this is about a fundraiser in High Point going on this week with the Go Far Run Club. And the event is retro themed. Ooh. Even better. <laughs> <laughs> so here to tell us about kicking it old school is Lydia Hughes, the executive director of Go Far, alongside David Armstrong, the owner of Nomad Wine Works, which is the venue for the event. Good morning to you both. Thank you for being here. Good Thank morning you for having us. Sure thing. So Lydia, we'll start with you. Tell us about Go Far's mission and your impact in our area. Yeah, Go Far is a nonprofit here in the triad. And what we do, our mission is to empower children through our innovative running program so that they can uh, pursue healthy lifestyles and achieve their goals. So how we do that is we have about 50 different teams in the triad right now, most of them located in schools, and their coaches will lead them through our curriculum, which is an eight week program. And it trains them obviously for this 5K, but all along the way, it's like an experiential learning process for them because because they learn all about character development, goal setting, and nutrition. So I say experiential because they get to learn these things at practice. They apply them along the way while they're training for the 5K, apply it on you know race day, and then they get to take those things that they learn with them and use them later on down the road in their lives. And it's just, it's great to see the impact on kids because like I said, they can take that with the lessons they learn for the rest of their lives. And also parents can get involved in our program too. So they can come out to our race on November 9th as well. So um, we love that ripple effect in the community to get everyone moving. Yeah, and put that one on your calendars. Lydia, tell us about Thursday's event though, why you're kicking it old yeah. school. Kicking it old school. So this is actually the 21st year of uh, this organization. So we actually wanted to throw it back and look at celebrate the work that we've done so far and all that's to come. So like I said, it's a throw, the ultimate throwback Thursday coming up. Uh, we want you to come out, wear your old school gear, your favorite old school outfit or your most cringy outfit that you have <laughs> with your kicks. And we are going to have uh, dancing, music with DJ Cuisine, a silent auction, food, and each ticket gets a free beverage voucher as well. So this event will support our mission to keep helping kids to go far and to continue that ripple effect in the community. Sounds like a lot of fun. Some good food, yeah. a good time, mm -hmm. a fun theme too. David, uh, tell us a little bit about Nomad and why it's the perfect venue, uh, venue for this event. We are an urban winery here uh, in High Point. Uh, we have a very large, spacious uh, tasting room, makes it perfect for doing uh, large events like this. Uh, we've hosted many, many uh, charitable events here. And when they reached out to us about doing the Go Far event, I thought it was perfect. I myself have participated in a few races with uh, my children and they're really cool. Uh, you know, bonding experiences. So I was very excited to start working on this project with them. Awesome, David, and being a business owner and, you know, also having a passion for philanthropy and supporting these organizations, how important is it just to kind of be together as a community to hold events like this? Well, I mean, we, we like doing this because the community supports us day in and day out so much, uh, you know, with pay, patronizing our business and stuff. So it's the way we can give back is, to donate our space and time here uh, to, to help the community grow by these doing these community events. So it's, it's very important uh, just to be involved. And Lydia, same kind of question for you. What does it mean to have this community support and why have these kinds of open events like you're having this week rather than just those races that people can look forward to? Yeah, well, let's just be honest when it comes to something like supporting kids and helping them try to create healthy lifestyles, uh, it really takes, it's an all hands on effort. So having people in the community like David show that support and we're hosting a place where we can celebrate and fundraise to support our mission, but also just get more people connected to what we do. Um, like I said, it's gonna, it burrs about 50 different teams. It's gonna be over 2000 runners and the effect goes beyond that. So we need uh, the community to buy in so that we can keep hosting these races in this program so kids can crush their goals and learn that they're capable of doing anything they put their minds to. 
What an important miss mission in this community. Thank you so much. I love both it. Lydia yeah. and David for your time this morning. Wishing you nothing but success for this event on Thursday. Everyone at home, that is the Kick It at Old School for Go Far on Thursday starting at 530 at Nomad Wine Works. They're on North Wren Street in High Point. You can get tickets at GoFarClub.org. We're also going to have all this information posted on our website later on this morning.